In today's video, I want to show you how to use Ethereum at layer two. Particularly, I'm going to show you how to use Arbitrum to get cheap fees on your favorite Ethereum-based applications. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to set up Arbitrum, how to fund your Arbitrum wallet, how to use Uniswap, and how to use Curve Finance to start using layer two Ethereum DeFi to earn some sweet, sweet yields. My name's Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency investing. So if that's a topic you'd like to learn some more about, maybe just stay up to date with, then you should definitely tap on that thumbs up button to let me and YouTube know that you appreciate this kind of content. By the way, if you'd like to help yourself stay ahead of the curve in this fast moving market, you need to get yourself a subscription to Wealth Mastery. This is my weekly investor report, step-by-step -step DeFi tutorials, deep dive on altcoins, technical analysis, portfolio updates, tips, tricks, NFTs, token sales, crazy profitable airdrops, and much, much more. You can sign up for free using the link down below in the description, or you can even go premium for less than 10 bucks a week. Now, quick note before we do begin, there are risks involved in doing most things in crypto, to be honest. But when we start talking about using decentralized finance, all this kind of stuff, we start introducing different layers of risk. You need to understand that when you leave the safety of Coinbase or whatever other exchange you might be using, you can run into trouble. Always make sure, of course, to keep the seed phrase for your MetaMask wallet, which we'll talk about in just a second, very safe. Make sure to understand that cryptocurrency DeFi applications, they can be hacked. The smart contracts can be hacked. The funds can be drained. You can lose everything. So just, you know, keep that in mind as we go ahead that risks do exist in this space. We are still very early. A lot of this stuff is still experimental. So keep that in mind. Now, if you want to use the Arbitrum network, you're going to need a wallet to interact with. I recommend MetaMask. MetaMask is a fantastic wallet. You can even connect it up to your hardware wallet, which is very, very nice. So get yourself a, a Ledger Nano X or S, whatever you can uh, afford to get. Get yourself one of those, link it up to your MetaMask. That way you've got a great portal into the world of DeFi, but you have the extra security of having that hardware wallet. Now, there'll be a link for everything I talk about uh, today down below. So a link for MetaMask and the bridge we're going to talk about, as well as for Uniswap and uh, Curve Finance and how to set up uh, Arbitrum in MetaMask. You'll find those links down below in the description. For setting up MetaMask, I'm trusting you to do this on your own. You come here, you click on download. It's pretty gosh darn easy. Write your seed phrase down, put it in a very safe place for safekeeping for later. All right, don't show it to anybody. Do not put it online. You will lose it and all your money will be gone. Of course, unless you get yourself a ledger to help keep it safe. But again, you still don't want to put your seed phrase anywhere online. Just remember that. So you set up your MetaMask wallet. Now we need to add Arbitrum into MetaMask. So how do we do that? Well, go ahead here and click on your MetaMask, which I've got just up here. So we can see I've already got mine set up to the Arbitrum mainnet, but if you would like to add it, well, you just have to go to Add Network, and that'll bring up a new window here where you can add a new network. So if we go back here, copy and paste all this information, ARB1, put that in the network name area, new RPC URL, again, copy, paste, put that in the new URL area, currency symbol, et cetera, et cetera. This link will be down below so you can walk yourself through this. And then you will click on save and that'll just automatically add the Arbitrum mainnet into your existing wallet. So very easy to get set up. Now that we have our wallet set up, you'll see that you have the option here, it says Arbitrum mainnet, or you can switch back over to the Ethereum mainnet as well. I've got a bunch of other networks set up on here. We're using Arbitrum, obviously, so that is where we want to stay on the Arbitrum mainnet. Very, very easy to get set up just by entering this information in here, add network, and off you go. Very, very easy to do. Now that we have Arbitrum added to our MetaMask, we need to put some money onto it. Now, I'm going to do it by actually withdrawing Ethereum 
from Binance. However, if you're in the U.S., you guys are not able to access Binance. And I don't know if any U.S. exchanges are allowing for Layer 2 withdrawals yet. A few of the international ones like Huobi and Binance already are. If you're in the U.S., you might have to use a bridge to go and get some money onto your Arbitrum wallet. So one that you can try is Hop Exchange. Fingers crossed that we also get an airdrop for this at some point in the future. They don't have a token yet. So maybe, maybe you'll get lucky and get an airdrop in the future uh, from Hop. But anyway, so it's pretty easy to use the bridge to do. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but it's very, very simple. Connect your wallet, enter how much Ethereum you would like to send from the Ethereum mainnet over to Arbitrum. Click send and off it goes. So it's super, super simple to get set up with. Again, there's a link for that down below. But we are using Binance today to fund our Arbitrum wallet. So we go up here to MetaMask. We're going to copy our address. Pop that in here. Select the withdrawal network as Arbitrum, obviously. And then decide how much we'd like to withdraw. So I'll just do 0 0.2 ETH. Not going to break the bank here, just a little bit of ETH to withdraw. Go ahead and click on withdraw here. Click on continue and then enter the different uh, codes. And I'll see you back in just a second when we get our, our ETH over on our Arbitrum wallet. Okay, now that I have funded my wallet, let's buy some tokens. Let's have some fun. Now you need to connect your wallet. Make sure that you are on the Arbitrum network. You can see you can connect either Ethereum, Polygon, Optimism, or Arbitrum. You want to connect to Arbitrum because that is the layer two scaling solution that we are using today. Go ahead and click on connect wallet. Click to MetaMask. Click next. Click connect. Off we go. And we are connected to Uniswap on Arbitrum. Now, the great thing about Arbitrum, there's lots of great layer twos out there. Optimism is great. Metis is great. Boba's doing stuff. Lots of great layer twos out there. We're talking about Arbitrum today. I think Arbitrum has some of the best integrations in terms of the quality and quantity of partners that they're working with across the DeFi space. You can use Uniswap. You can use SushiSwap. You can use Curve Finance and Balancer Finance and loads of others. Let's buy some crypto. So we are connected. We are on Arbitrum. Let's buy some wrapped Bitcoin. So we're going to do 0 0.05 Ethereum worth of wrapped Bitcoin. Go ahead and click on swap. Click on confirm swap. Confirm transaction in wallet. Now here is the exciting part. Look at this. The estimated gas fee 0 0.002 Ethereum. That is awesome. So essentially that's five or six bucks, something like that. On Ethereum layer one, let's go ahead and confirm this while I'm talking about the gas prices here. On Ethereum layer one, that gas fee might have been 0 0.05 Ethereum. We literally would not be able to afford to do this. And look how fast it is. It's already done. It's already confirmed. It's already finished. I've already got my wrapped Bitcoin that fast. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love it. Now, while we're over here, I'm also going to buy us some USDC. Again, we'll do 0 0.05 Ethereum worth of that. So we're going to buy a 160 bucks here worth of USDC. Go ahead and click on swap. Go ahead and click on confirm swap. Again, dirt cheap gas fees. Click on confirm. Transaction submitted. How long is it going to take to confirm? Waiting, waiting, waiting. And it is succeeded. Nice. That is a good user experience right there compared to, of course, how long it can take for some things to confirm on layer one Ethereum. So now I've got Ethereum in my wallet. I've got some wrapped Bitcoin. I've got some USDC in my wallet. I've used Uniswap to make some sweet swaps. Let's do some other stuff on Ethereum layer two. Let's go over here to Curve Finance, using it on, of course, Arbitrum. We need to connect our wallet. Click on Connect Wallet. Click on Next. Click on Connect. We are connecting. We are connected. Of course, make sure you are on the correct network. We can see, of course, we're already on Arbitrum here, but just make sure you can come up here to network and, of course, connect on any of these different networks. Make sure, of course, we select Arbitrum because that is what we are using today. Now we can see there are a few different pools down here that have some interesting rewards potential. We have the Tri Crypto Pool with USDT, Wrapped Bitcoin, and Wrapped Ethereum. So it's a third of each of those cryptocurrencies in the pool. 
We also have the two pool, which is USDC and USDT, currently just under 9% APR if we include the curve rewards, which are paid at 8.5%, as well as the pool fees, uh, which are 0.39%. We also have a nice little Bitcoin pool here, which we're going to get into momentarily, as well as a nice little Euro pool. Mm. Now let's start off here by earning some Bitcoin rewards. You can see we have 6.14% curve rewards for Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and click on this pool here. Then we want to scroll back up and click on deposit. So this is buying and selling. If you want to swap your wrapped Bitcoin to your REN Bitcoin, well, you can do that on Curve. Curve is actually a stable uh, asset swapping protocol. So you can swap from wrapped Bitcoin to REN Bitcoin or different dollar stable coins between USDC and USDT without any slippage. So if you want to get $10 worth of USDC and buy $10 worth of USDT, you can do that on Curve and get 10 for 10 instead of maybe on Uniswap, you might get 9.85 or something like that. Anyway, let's click here on deposit. So we are going to deposit our wrapped Bitcoin and then stake it here on Curve Finance. So we're going to do both of those things, deposit and stake in Gage. So first we have to confirm the deposit. Go ahead and click confirm there. Then giving permission, click confirm there. Do, 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 do. Another approval to make, click on confirm. And we have deposited and staked our wrapped Bitcoin. So now we're eligible for earning curve rewards. So we will earn whatever fees there might be from people swapping between wrapped Bitcoin and REN Bitcoin, as well as the extra 6% on top of that paid out in curve rewards. Now let's go ahead and get into another pool. So let's go back here and We'll actually go to the Euro SUSD pool. So we can see here, this is Euros, USDC, and USDT. So again, that allows you to buy and sell between Euros and USD, different varieties, obviously, and of course, to deposit in there and actually start earning rewards. Remember, we had some nice pool rewards coming in from this one, about 16% or something paid out in Curve. So we actually earn Curve Finance tokens for doing this. Now, this, unlike something potentially a little bit safer, like the uh, 2 USD pool, where it's just USDC and USDT, you might experience a little bit of impermanent loss here because the value of euros, of course, is not the same as the value of a dollar. So we do have that slight Forex competition here, but generally the rates between the major currencies don't fluctuate to a gigantic degree. So it's a relatively safer pool. So again, we want to deposit, stake. So click deposit and stake engage. We have to approve the spending once again. Go ahead and click on confirm. Waiting for that to go through. Click on confirm again. Waiting for that to go through. It's a pretty simple process getting this stuff set up. I know it really helps to have a step-by-step a -step guide on how to do these things. We have to do one more confirmation here. It really helps having a step-by-step -step guide on how to do these things, but it's really not complicated. Once you get the hang of it, once you understand that, hey, where's all this curve coming from that allows these great uh, APRs on something like Curve Finance? Well, it's coming from a rewards program. So the Curve Finance uh, team, they want to incentivize people to bring their money over to the platform so that it's a good user experience. There's lots of liquidity for people who want to use it. And in exchange for providing your liquidity, they're going to give you a little bit of their tokens here as well. So now we can see we've got in, we've staked our USDC here in the pool, and we are now eligible to earn those rewards. And finally, let's go over to the withdraw page. We've learned how to deposit to start earning those rewards. Now we can go to the withdraw page here and look at how to 
also claim our rewards and to exit the pool if one exit the pool. So we can choose to exit in a combination of all the coins. We can choose to exit just back into USDC. We can click on then of course withdraw and claim getting any rewards that we might already have accrued here. I don't think we've accru accrued any rewards at the moment because we have such a small stake, but it gives you an idea of how all of this works. Click on confirm and we are unstaking and withdrawing our USDC back into our wallet. And of course, during this process, you would also be able to claim any rewards that you might have accrued during this process. Now look, in all honesty, with 150 bucks, it's really not necessarily worth using something uh, like Curve Finance on Arbitrum. You know, if you have 150 bucks, you should probably be using Solana or Polygon because you can get like fees that cost a fraction of a penny. Because look, even though the fees are much, much cheaper than layer one Ethereum, just to stake and unstake, we've still probably spent 50 or 60 bucks in uh, gas fees all together with all the little transactions, the swap on Uniswap, staking it, unstaking it, all this stuff. So at the reward percentage, it would take quite a while to uh, make up the uh, rewards here in terms of just the gas fees. You'd still need to pay. Gas fees will come down on Arbitrum over time. That being said, right now they're not down. They're still high compared to something like Solana or compared to something uh, like Polygon, but it's way better than using Ethereum on the main chain. It's a much better user experience for anybody who wants to come and experience layer two Ethereum. It's pretty cheap now with scaling options like Arbitrum. So go ahead, try it out, have fun. Anyway, that's all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.